Well, I mean, it was, uh, we, we didn't play the way we needed to uh, on the offense end again. So, you know, missed free throws, you know, open shots late in the half, especially where maybe it could have been a more manageable deficit at halftime, you know, put us behind it. Like how we fought to start the second half, I believe we cut it to 15, but they had another surge. They had an army of guys they were bringing in that, that were getting a lot done in the paint. Uh, just really good size and guys that, that could make it happen around the basket. They they, they outscored us uh, handily, you know, in the paint, and that was probably the biggest difference in the game. Like, they're, they're good in transition, but it seemed like for a while there in the second half, especially you guys were getting beat down. Was that more just what they were doing, or you guys were late, late getting back? Well, I didn't like the one where I think they missed a free throw and Josh Green took it coast to coast and dunked it that day. You know that forced me to to take out our two guards that were that were floor balanced there on the free throw. So um, yeah, but they they uh, certainly are good in, in in the open floor, and our offense helped that tremendously. Just you know, I think we had a lot of you know a fair amount of open looks. I, I thought at times we over dribbled again, but but uh, you know if we if we go three for twenty one from three, then then this is what we're going to be looking at. What could you have done differently offensively? We had to make free throws. I think we were two for eight in, in the first half, and, and then there were front end the one and ones involved there. I think we finished the game eight for 19, and then, you know, just again, the three point shooting. I mean, if you saw some of them, the guys are, are fairly open. We need to connect on those. Uh, didn't really have a presence inside. Romello, you know, battled, but he's he was physically kind of a shell of, of what he's been, just what he was working through. So it was just tough to generate points on the inside. We had to kind of try and drive everything to get to the basket. How much did Romello practice this week? He was uh, in, in like non-live stuff on Thursday, and then he was he was mostly a full go and was moving fairly good yesterday and went through walkthroughs. So um, I think he had enough repetitions, but I, mean, I just didn't think he had any explosion once he you know, went into his move. How much did their size just kind of limit what you guys could do as far as getting the ball to him in, in the post? Yeah, I mean, they, they certainly they're big and they're they're mobile and you know, you know Najee's unbelievable. It's just uh, you watch them on film and then you wonder what it's going to be like in person, and then it's, it's it's worse than when you watch it on film. So, you know, his play at the end of the first half was, was ridiculous. It was a, a demoralizing way to, to go into the locker room. It's hard to explain the foul shooting. You guys haven't been great, but you haven't been this bad this year. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a tough environment. There's a lot of noise. It's a big game. There's a lot on the line. Uh, I'm not trying to make excuses for the guys, but, you know, we've shot better, and, and certain players are certainly capable of, of making those and put us in a better position to be in striking distance and keep the game in striking distance. We can never quite get it to where we could put any game pressure on them at all. Like I thought maybe at 16 we had a chance if we could have went on another little surge, but it never happened. Is there anything you saw that you liked tonight? I just like how Remy competed. He didn't always do the right things. I thought he was, uh, but, but he made some plays out there for us. Kamani, I thought, saved six points in the first half just by you know, chase down blocks. I thought Mickey played as hard as he could. Uh, after that, it's it's tough really to, to find a lot of positives. The only positive is it's only one game, and uh, there's 17 more. What do you do? How do you handle it as a coach when you've got a team and things shoots the ball pretty well and just isn't now for an extended amount of time? Yeah, I mean you 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 go in a certain direction, and and you have once you're once you're down the road, it's uh, from a personnel standpoint, it's kind of difficult to, to change gears, and uh, so we got to ride it out and. You know, tonight was was uh, not good, and we got to get back to work and and put this behind us, and then you know get ready for another road trip. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.